You're watching Talking About Orcs. In this episode of Talking About Orcs, we're going to be going over the Looted Wagon. The Looted Wagon is in the codex to basically allow you to use whatever looted vehicle you, vehicles you had uh, from before. So if you were playing a Lehman Russ or Rhinos or whatever, uh, you can still use those models, but under these new rules as opposed to the original rules for each model. So the looted wagon is 35 points, as front and side armor 11, so in that regards it's just like a Rhino. And has a transport capacity of 12 models, with models of mega armor counting as 2 models. It has a special rule, don't press that. At the beginning of every turn you have to roll a die. And on a 1, the looted wagon moves forward as far as possible in a straight line. And we can't do anything but that. Uh, because it does move, even if it doesn't actually move very far, because if you run into an old, into your own model or an enemy model, it stops. So regardless of how far you move, it counts as moving the full 12 inches. So if you roll a 1, you can't shoot this turn. Other than that, you know, usually you're going to be going straight ahead forward anyway, so that's fine. But you can still move the 12 inches, get out and assault, even if you do hit the don't press that. Uh, looted wagons are good if you want to take a cheap transport for a unit that does not have the option of a transport. Oh, and it is a tank. I forgot about that. It is a tank, and it's open top. So it can tank shock, it can ram, and open top, you can assault out of it and shoot out of it. So uh, that's really good for, as I said, for taking a shooty unit that doesn't come with a transport, like burn boys or tank busters or flash kits, uh, something that you want to be moving around. Uh, but doesn't have its own dedicated transport. So if you want a cheap transport uh, and you're not fighting for your heavy support choices, the looted wagon isn't a bad idea. I think it's a better idea than stealing a truck from a unit of 12 boys myself. Because that's not really something I, I think is a viable tactic, even though a lot of people do it. Uh, your main options for your main gun is you can take a Scorcha. So basically you're turning into an expensive Scorcha track. Um, but with a transport capacity, so you know, it's not that much more expensive than a Scorcher track, to be, to be honest. Uh, but it has that transport capacity and the higher armor, and it's a tank. The other main weapon you can take, of course, is the boom gun. The boom gun is basically so you can use your Lehman Rust models that you had from the previous codex. But the boom gun is 36 inch range, strength 8, AP3, large blast ordnance. And generally speak, and when you take the boom gun, you lose your transport capacity entirely. So this is where the term the boom wagon comes from. This boom gun on looted wagon is a boom wagon for short. Uh, you can also take additional two additional small weapons, big shooters and rocket launchers. And of course, all of the plethora of the orc vehicle upgrades, art case, red paint job, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, looted wagons are cool. I play with this. This is my looted wagon. This is the only one I have right now. Uh, but I play with it a lot. I used to run it in with tank busters uh, in smaller point games. Uh, I'd run it with a Scorcha just because I thought a Scorcha was a cool option. Or I'd take it with just a rocket launcher. Uh, so I'd have basically a, a one more rocket launcher fire when I fire from my tank busters. I really have no complaints about looted wagons. A lot of people say looted wagons suck. I don't have a problem with them. I think it's for the price. Uh, you're getting a lot of utility and a lot of options. Um, if you are going to run a boom wagon, uh, a lot of people just use them as boom wagons. Um, I like this guy. You will want to take the Ard Case upgrade uh, on a boom wagon so you don't have to worry about uh, glancing hits wrecking it. Uh, so, here we go. There, now it's an Ard Case boom wagon. But that's definitely not the only way you can run a looted wagon effectively. Uh, it'd really be nice if looted wagons were available in squadrons from one to three. That would be really, really sweet. Uh, but unfortunately, I didn't see fit to make that in the codex. Um, so if you're going to be using it as a transport, uh, you definitely want to consider the armor plates, just like everything else, so it can stay moving, uh, even when stunned. 
because uh, once again, if you're not moving, then you're not getting in closer to close combat, uh, which means you're losing. Uh, red paint job is definitely a good idea because you don't because it's not a fast vehicle. Uh, so with the boom wagon, you can move seven inches and still fire the gun, which. Uh, with being only a 36 inch range you really need to move around to get the shots you want and that way you can also keep up um, with your custom force field mech uh, if you're um, moving up behind it. Uh, see the other upgrades probably aren't as good. Reinforced ram if you're using a transport reinforced ram is a good option so you don't have to worry about dangerous terrain tests especially with the don't press that because if you don't press that roll takes you through dangerous terrain you gotta roll the one anyway uh, even if you don't, even if you didn't want to go through that terrain, uh, you don't really have a choice. So the reinforced ram is is probably a really good idea uh, on the looted wagon. So if you're using a transport, you can't. It is pretty cheap. You know, say if you're giving me a transport, you give it a weapon, uh, just a big shooter, just to say you have a weapon. For the weapon destroyed, red paint job, reinforced ram, armor plates, you know, 60 points. It's not a bad price, really, I don't think, for a transport uh, that has the carrying capacity, the open top rule, so you can assault out of it. Um, and of course, the uh, re the rerolls and dangerous train tests. And if you keep it up with your custom force field mech, you uh, have a much more um, chance of surviving to get, uh, get the uh, passengers into combat or into range of their guns, depending on how you're using it. If you're using it as a uh, transport for a shooting unit. So that's about it for the looted wagon. Looted wagons are definitely, again, it's a viable unit. It's not a very popular unit, except for the boom gun variant. Uh, but it is a good transport. It's, I think it's a good transport for units that shoot and units that don't have their own dedicated transports. And the best thing about looted wagons is there's no limit to the modeling possibilities. You can do whatever you want with a looted wagon. It doesn't even have to be a GW model. It could be, you know, a plastic. Uh, Abrams tank that <laughs> you cut the top off of. Hey, hey, it's a looted wagon. I'm looting an Abrams instead of a Rhino today. Well, looted wagons are, are a lot of fun uh, in the modeling department because uh, there's absolutely no restrictions whatsoever on what you can do with them. So that's about it for the looted wagon. Not much else to say. Uh, it's a great little unit. It's cheap. If you can keep them cheap enough, they're a viable transport for units that don't have their own transport. And with the boom gun option, they definitely put out a lot of firepower. I like them. I like looted wagons a lot. And they're just so much fun uh, to model because, as I said, there's no restrictions. Have fun. Do whatever you want with a looted wagon.